this is the samsung one terabyte evo plus ssd on the right side you are seeing the default ssd that came with this laptop that is a hitachi 250 gb ssd i also installed a 16 gb single module ram uh, ddr4 ram and the 970 is uh, put on the first slot that is nvme and the default ssd that came with this laptop is a sata interface sata based ssd thank god it is detected as you can see the unallocated space is 931 gb oh my god that is really uh, relaxing experience because uh, many people in online forums says that this laptop will not support nvme technology nvme ssd uh, because the product page itself saying that this uh, is shipped with a sata interface that means i think they are telling that the laptop is shipping with a sata ssd but uh, there is no uh, good manuals or uh, technical specification available online in the lg website itself sh itself saying that uh, this laptop uh, is shipped with two four gigabytes of ram but uh, 8 gb is soldered into the motherboard and we can put up to uh, another 16 gb uh, on that single slot when well, it's oh my god as you can see the speed is 3.78 gigabytes per second that is really cool uh, because uh, uh, the, this is the advertised speed uh, of this ssd many people saying that uh, this laptop will not support the advertised speed even if uh, the nvme ssd is detected so that is not the case because as you can see the uh, ssd is performing as uh, uh, good as it can because uh, that would taste speed is around uh, 3.4 gbps i believe i forgot the exact numbers anyway it is about 3 gb also the write speed also uh, is about about 4 about 3 gb let's see what will be the write speed for this laptop this is really frustrating when we read uh, those comments because uh, in amazon india we cannot return the products and get a refund if uh, it is not working as expected or it is not the right thing. oh my god <laughs> we got 3.2 gbps of write speed that's all that is really amazing because uh, that was the advertised uh, speed of this ssd and this laptop is completely capable of uh, taking that ssd anyway that's uh, really good uh, the default ssd came with this laptop uh, speed was around 500 uh, mbps i believe uh, we can test that later uh, anyway that those comments like it will not support a single uh, 16 gb uh, ram and as you can see that now i am using 24 gigabytes of ram many forums that says that this uh, laptop will only support uh, maximum 16 gb of ram as you can see now it is using 24 gigabytes of ram it accepted a single 16 gb module so uh, by using that is not a problem uh, so now i am going to test the original ssd that came with this laptop i already test uh, when i bought this laptop anyway let's see what 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 is the difference for the money so i oh my god that's 540 that's totally expected so uh, someone also said that you cannot run uh, you cannot mix and match both ssd so now i am running nvme on the left and sata on the right so you can mix and match uh, two technologies no problem so everything is <laughs> everything online about this laptop uh, or are it's not the main problem is uh, the specification on lg website is really bad they are not uh, really serious about <laughs> selling this laptop also you cannot find uh, drivers straightforward like dell or hp uh, it's really hard to find uh, the pre-installed software on lg website uh, most of the time they will not <laughs> list any drivers so we need to find another uh, product page and download similar drivers uh, in other country anyway that's it for now thanks for watching i am going to remove the sata ssd and put it into a, a enclosure and going to use this beast as my main drive 
anyway once again thanks for watching and have a good day bye